What's up, good people, and welcome and welcome back to my channel where we bond over our favorite TV shows, trending topics, and everything in between that we care about. So today, I wanted to share with you guys a post I saw on social media. It looks like Tim Norman is making his first appearance from prison, which appears to be recent. I was on Instagram browsing, and the next thing you know, a post from the underscore Tim Norman popped up on my thread, and I'm like, what's going on here? So when I look at it, it is actually, as you can see here, a picture of Tim Norman that seems to be extremely recent because he's looking a little rough. <laughs> and it looks to be uh, a picture from him being in prison and it looks like he's holding a phone. So it kind of looks like maybe somebody had him on one of those video cameras like doing a visitation. And you can see that his hair has grown out or he's been growing his hair out i can't tell what it is exactly because it almost looks like it could be twist but it kind of look like a fro but it's some it's stuff going around <laughs> like around the fro so yeah i'm not too sure what kind of uh hairstyle he's trying to pull off but he's definitely grown his hair out so basically there's no real context to this it was just a post so i screenshot right away <laughs> because <laughs> that's the main thing you know on social media when you see something that's like wait this is different you need to screenshot it right away and so that's what i did and i also screenshot the comments however when i went back later that night just to see if there were additional comments the whole post was gone it was a post and delete and and the other thing i noticed was that the original page that the post was on had the same exact name but it wasn't verified and i didn't notice that until i went back later that night to grab more comments and saw that the whole post was gone that the page actually is verified so i'm i'm just like real awesome maybe some of y'all know <laughs> how that's possible or i'm like did he get verified like throughout that day maybe it was a post and delete maybe somebody hacked his page i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway i just wanted to share this with you guys because many of us have not seen him uh, i will say this video i can't really update as like I've watched videos here and there. I do know that he supposedly has COVID right now. And so the pre-trial date has gotten pushed again, but that's the most I can really share uh, in this moment. So this video is definitely not about any of that. It's, well, I'm not gonna say any of that, but it's, it's not about uh, giving updates on the trial at all. This is really talking about social media stuff. Now I was really trying to figure out how did that original post disappear? And it started to make me think maybe you know, somebody hacked his page. Maybe this was a friend or relative who went to visit him and they took this screenshot while visiting him some kind of way. And then, or I don't know, do they do this virtual now? Can you have virtual visits with people in prison, like from home? So I don't know. Y'all let me know. So maybe that's what happened and so who, whatever occurs, somebody took this picture and then decided to post for an update <laughs> to let us know what he, you know, how raggedy he looking. So then I started to think this, this is kind of odd. Like, how is he posting from prison? I know people get cell phones and they do things, but with him being so high profile, it just seemed a little odd that he would post um, from prison, kind of bringing more spotlight to himself. So I started to think maybe his page got hacked or something. And when I looked back to see, like, when was the last time he posted, his last post was actually July 31st of 2020. Then he was actually arrested like 11 days later, I think it was August 11th of 2020. So he hadn't posted since July 31st until this post on February 19th of 2022. So that's starting to make me think that maybe he wasn't actually behind this. Plus, you know, this ain't no, this ain't no picture to brag about. <laughs> like if, if I'm gonna be making an appearance after almost uh, two years on Instagram, trust me, it won't be a picture like that. So. And we know Tim is shallow, obviously, because he, you know, took the life of his nephew for, you know, money, basically. So anyway, I wanted to take this time to just, you know, share this with you guys because it's no longer on Instagram from what I can tell unless someone else grabbed it and posted it. But also I wanted to share, you know, some comments, uh, some of the people who saw the post like I did. So one part, <laughs> so, so one of the first things I started to see in the comments is a fight. <laughs> Cause you know how people are on the internet, you know, they want to be keyboard bullies and all that. So one of the first comments that I saw was, uh, this guy questioning, is he currently in jail? And the reply was a black man on bail for M and a picture of him clearly in jail. <laughs> 
Um, and then uh, this guy responds. He says, people go to trial before they get convicted and sentenced. How does that picture clearly show he's in jail? All I see is his face. I mean, I guess, you know, you can kind of go with that. But there are, to me, context clues. He clearly has his hand up to his face. It's even the way you see that his knuckles are. And I'm really analyzing here. So, <laughs> so, so ride with me here. But even the way his knuckles are clenched around whatever's in his hand, we don't grab our <laughs> smartphones <laughs> like we used to grab the old school uh, analog phones. So, you know, it would have been like that. Um, so I hear him, <laughs> but I ain't with him. <laughs> but anyway, the next comment was, sir, do you not see? Oh, here's the person said the same thing I'm saying. Sir, do you not see the pay phone in his hands? Where in America are we still using pay phones? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I think jail may be the only place, prison. So this person says, now who gave you a phone? <laughs> this scared the hell out of me. I will say I was a little shocked too. Like when I when it popped up, I was kind of like, whoa, what happened? Because this it, is a pretty scary looking picture too, to be honest. <laughs> this person then says, unfollowing now, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely not unfollowing for reasons like this because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And honestly, I didn't even start following him until after all of this went down. Uh, I wasn't paying no, I wasn't checking for Tim like that. I wasn't paying him no attention. Oh, so the next person says he looks like dot, dot, dot. Never mind. Y'all know. <laughs> right. We know. Trust me. We know. Trust me. We know. Next comment. Damn. I still follow you. <laughs> I forgot about your crazy eye. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so the next one is, I forgot I follow him, another person. And, and then Jennifer told us, Jennifer did tell us, and I will say, she told us, for you, those of you who don't know, Jennifer is the ex-girlfriend of Tim Norman. She's, she was also um, on the reality show Basketball Wives. It's like she was around in like the first seasons. And she ended up dating Tim years later while the show was still airing. I think he was in at the Houston location at that time. And I wasn't checking for Jennifer because I, you know, she, you know, she looked like a gold digger and all that kind of stuff. And I, I'm like, she ain't really into Tim, but Tim seemed to have money. He also had a, you know, a little bit of fame. So I felt like that was why she was with him. However, I think on some level it was a real relationship because when they broke up, she talked about, or her, when she broke up with him, she talked about her having to get restraining orders. He was stalking her. They had a, a court uh, case uh, surrounding it and everything. So she basically said that, like, he was crazy, psychopath, and all of that. And I will admit, I was one of the people, like, well, what was her part in that? Because of the fact that, you know, she's a reality star, and I could, you know, you've seen her on back. Some of us have seen her on Basketball Wives, and so she's not innocent, or she wasn't in that situation. So, but obviously, she was sounding the alarm, and, you know, unfortunately, people weren't listening, and that's a whole, I'm not going to even bring up the other person who <laughs> women are sounding the alarm about, and people aren't listening. But anyway, back to this. So, this comment is, you are so grimy. Why did you do that? <laughs> yes, he is grimy. And I, I mean, we kind of know the motive from a moral perspective. I still question why would you do that? But um, we know why he did it was for money. So this next one is you're never getting out. The feds have so much evidence that you ex your own nephew. True. Like any of us who have read the court filing from the uh, original charges, uh, yeah, they got a lot of evidence, like a ton. I mean, he's trying to get out of it. Um, you know, he's trying to work the legal system because that's going to be his only way out by saying that they searched his home Ill illegally without a search warrant. They took his cell phone where they got most of the evidence from. Uh, they took that also without a warrant. So we'll see how that turns out. That's that's kind of the angle he's taking because again he's guilty and there's plenty of evidence but if he can take that out of the evidence then it's probably gonna be a little bit harder to prove so the next comment is you really ruined your life and lots of others hope you sleep well in there as i am sure you do no remorse 
Hmm. It. I mean, it does appear. I mean, he is fighting for his freedom, but I have not seen a moment or heard of any moments where it seemed like he had any level of remorse. But again, in order to have remorse or admit remorse, you would have to admit that you did it. <laughs> so we, that's one of the reasons we we definitely not going to get it now. Maybe if he gets off, you'll do the OJ and write a book later. Uh, we might get some remorse then, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right, next comment. They have a special place for evil people like you. How dare you show your face on at Instagram? He should not be allowed to have an account on this app. <laughs> That's true, too. Um, it's true, but I think they would need, because I know how hard it is to get people to deplatform. I think that he would probably have to be convicted first, because right now he's on trial and it's like, you know, innocent until proven guilty. And I know this is hard for people to, you know, bear during times like this, where it's like someone is clearly guilty, <laughs> clearly guilty, and you have to kind of watch them be free or, you know, he's in prison, but at least watch them have a life still until it all comes down. And this is just one of those situations where he's still going to, you know, have this Instagram page until, you know, maybe if he's convicted, then there's a reason to take it down because he has officially been charged and according to the law considered a person who's taken someone's life so we'll see how that part goes but again it is very hard to deplatform people it's not impossible <laughs> but it's it, it is a lot of work i'll put it that way okay so next comment give your life to god you look so different I would agree. I mean, when we look at this picture, we can clearly see he he looks a little rough. Um, he looks a lot rough. He looks dead in his eyes, too, like, to be honest. But anyway, moving on. Next comment. Wow, look at you. So sad. Just freaking sad. You had the world, but you were so demonic, you couldn't realize it. So sad. It's true. It's true. I mean, he had financial issues. We do know that. It wasn't like there was never money. The problem was he was overspending the money that they had and trying to grow too quick and trying to do too much. So he made that bed that caused him to even have the financial issues that made him feel like getting a life insurance policy on his nephew was an option to make his come up or get his come up. All right, so next comment. I wonder if he thought he would receive some love when he posted this. Sir, you can go to hell. <laughs> exactly. I don't think he posted this, though. I really don't think he posted this. And if he did, I would think like this person where maybe, um, yeah, I think, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm laughing because it's like, I don't think he posted this because it would just be, it, he would be cuckoo <laughs> for Cocoa Puffs if he thought he would get any love from any post. Uh, at this point in this in this season. Okay, so next comment is, this is so sad watching their show. The success of Sweetie Pies and the opening of all the other restaurants to this. Tragic. I hope it all works out for Tim. <laughs> You're one of the few. <laughs> yes, you are one of the few. But yeah, it, it, I mean, it is definitely sad when you look at it because like I've said in some of my previous beginning videos uh when i first started kind of doing videos on sweetie pies related topics i definitely watched the show religiously and was emotionally invested because of the fact that you know it was a a mom and son team you know making it doing their thing and i had a similar situation and so yeah i was rooting for them i really was and i was proud of them and black excellence and all of that good stuff and then this like dude what are you doing like, we got an image to uphold. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I agree with that comment that, yeah, he jacked it all up. But I don't know about I hope it works out for him. That I ain't on that train. Um, I'm hoping it works out for the justice for Andre and Andre's mom and family. So what's the next comment? This person says, I forgot I was following you. Like a lot of people saying that, <laughs> including me. Did you post this for support? Well, you gets none. <laughs> Pray for Miss Robbie. Can only imagine the pain she's going through. Yeah, um, I did a video on that, so we know that you know we finally heard from her own words what what's happening 
in her world and in her mind when it regard in regards to this rather and so here's a person who's actually kind of reiterating what i said a few seconds ago so this comment says whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty people are so quick to judge god has the last say the world we live in people are so cruel but when you're on top and they show so much love fake love i say keep on fighting god is with you tim this person has obviously not read any of the court documents, <laughs> but, you know, people don't research. They just kind of, you know, do it the easy way. Uh, this person then says he is most definitely guilty, <laughs> which is what I'm saying. And then this other person, girl, bye. <laughs> oh, you got to love the Internet. Uh, and so the next comment is they wrong for this. And then this other person says, don't drop the soap. And then this person says, what you want, Slewfoot Tim? <laughs> oh, Lord. People, 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 people. Okay, so this comment is, wow, 20 people like this? I forgot he was on my page. Trash. Yeah, it was people like, and I don't know. I mean, it's still people that support him. It's still people like, like this other, the comment I just read, where it's people who believe innocent until proven guilty. They're going a lot on the personality and the image that was created in regards to Tim Norman or James Timothy Norman. He didn't even use his full real name. So like everything we see is not 100% true when it comes to people, celebrities, faux celebrities, uh, influencers, you know, people who have social media platforms. I don't know why it's so hard for people to understand that it's really another version of acting. Being a social media influencer is another version of acting. It is what it is. I don't act like this all the time. Many people can tell you that. <laughs> so anyway, that was pretty much all I wanted to share with this uh, particular video, the post of Tim Norman, getting an update picture of him being in prison. If you've lasted until this point in the video, thank you, first of all, for your support. And also, if you're not also a subscriber of this channel this would be a great time for you to subscribe and definitely like this video so you can help us grow with that until next time until i upload the next video make sure to take care and be blessed peace